Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated community Minecraft server here in the swamp. I'm over here in the swamp where things are a little dingy looking, I guess. Working on the witch farm. This is what we got to last time, and this is what we're going to work on today. There's some things I need to do. I need to work out the timing of the redstone. I got to figure out what I'm going to do over here. I'm thinking I'm probably just going to put together a hopper clock. We'll use the famous ethos hopper clock off the back end of that just so that, say, every 30 seconds or so, this thing will cycle on and off, right? I also need to finish uh, encapsulating it in brown glass. I think I have just enough back at the ship to do that. And I need to put signs inside so that the water doesn't flow all the way up and over the lip because these are seven long and water flows eight and I need to put some type of collection system down there in the bottom and funnel them into a water tower and I'm going to send them up a water elevator that is to say I'm going to send them up 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 until they're about a hundred <laughs> about a hundred up all right uh, from here probably a hundred and ten so that I'll be standing on the platform 110 up, including this. That'll give us another 10 blocks, so it'll be within 120, and this will be the area where most things will spawn because I don't want to go to all the business of clearing out all of the caves around here, and there's some pretty loud ones back in there. There's some, As you can see, there's a witch right there, right? So I don't want to have to go to all that problem. I'm just going to build a platform that uh, is up there at 100 and then i'm going to build the water elevator up 50 more and make them drop onto that platform because that's where i think i'm going to put a nether gate and i think that's where i'm going to put the storage solution for this particular farm now what do i have on me let's see here i need more brown glass i need to fill in this section down there with water still so i need the brown glass fill that in with water and i need some type of material hmm for the base. Do I want to make it out of brick? Because it's going to be underwater. And then a partial brick. I did just do one like that on my 400 biomes. I think it actually looked good. So I may, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just uh, go get a lot of cobblestone and smelt it up. Or go get a lot of stone and craft it. Do I, I think I have a silk touch pickaxe on this server. I'll have to go find it. But oh boy I'm going to need a lot of glass. And I definitely don't have enough sand for that. So I'm going to head to the closest sand biome I know. The closest desert I know is about a thousand blocks that away from my ship. So about 1,500 blocks from here. Uh, I'll go dig up a, an inventory's worth of sand and then uh, head back this way. All right, so give me a few moments to get these things set up. Well, my friends, I've come over here and dug up quite a bit. Tore down a lot of that hill. Tore this hill completely down. Grabbed some of the stone out of there. To make cobblestone so I have some cobblestone I'm gonna need to smelt up and I don't have uh, can shulka brock just be picked up with shovels I don't know <laughs> better safe than sorry all right there's my short stack uh, I can't believe I'm making a, a picks out of stone but yep there we go inside there all of my sand for the endeavors there's lots and lots of sand and lots and lots of wood and now I have stone but I need to go to my ship and smelt it up all right remember how I said that this island was thousands of blocks away well uh, <laughs> perhaps not so far oh come on oh maybe though it's gonna feel like that as it takes forever to get this thing going all right let's try this side yeah off we go no go straight up one rocket and then sail over towards this island over here. Every other time I'd come to my little desert island, I came by boat. And it felt like thousands of blocks. And maybe it is. Maybe I'm just spoiled because I don't know how Elytra... I mean, Elytra are amazing. They get me from everywhere I need to go to everywhere I need to be. <laughs> Pretty quickly. I know the ship is right there, so I'm going to kind of pull up a little bit. There it is. Excellent. Oh, rendering in. Starting to look pretty good. Starting to look pretty good. All that's really left is, let's see here, I think down here on the cannoneer section, down here, maybe not out this side, but, I mean, I could put something right there, or something right here, but uh, back, out the back there, well, it's not the back, that's the four, 
<laughs> that's that's the bow of the ship. That's the aft and starboard and port. But uh, yeah, in the fore of the ship, I just need to probably probably section it off like I did before. So there's a path that goes around the edge, and the edge would lead to that ladder, right? So there'll be a big section here, and half of it'll be treasure room, and the other half will be the uh, the brig. Yeah, I think that's what that's going to end up being. All right, so I got sand. And I got cobble, and I need to smelt a lot of it. A lot of it. Good thing I built a quick smelter, multiple quick smelters before. All right, anything in here from before? Nope. All right, let's get this, this sand going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? That should give me enough glass to use... The flowers from the swamp, so we'll probably take all that glass over there. All right, so I'm going to wait for this material to get ready and go back over to the witch farm and continue building it up. All right, welcome back, my friends. I'm just cleaning up where I had to back by while I was loading these bad boys up, and now these three chambers are done. I've already had and I've already gone ahead and fixed the flooring above and the flooring above that. And put these signs in so that when it flows from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into the eighth spot, it will not go. So the witches will come down here, bloop, plop down into this little collection chamber. That's a half block gap I'm going to leave. That's a half block gap I'm going to leave. This is a gap I need to cover up. The water will be in these two corners, and it should flow to that square. And that square will be where the elevator begins. So we'll put that there and... Well, it won't... I'll put another sign down there in a minute, but I need this step for now. And then this will be the elevator. So this... Uh, maybe not this block, but here, above this, will be blue glass, light blue glass. I need to go get some flowers out there, not those yellow ones. There's some blue ones out there somewhere. I think I saw one back there. And we'll go blue glass all the way up, but that'll be the next scene. <laughs> For now, I wanted to show you what we've got going on here. All right, so that's the bottom decorative. Let me get over here and give you a look from the side. Now that we've completed the, the enclosure for the witch spawning area. All right, so they're all in there nice now. I'm going to have to get rid of these lily pads in a little bit. And I am going to light up this cave behind me just in case, right? I'll take care of that later. Uh, next up, I think the redstone uh, should probably get done. Da, 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 da. Let's go in here. We're going to need two of those. We're going to need one of those. I'll probably use a lot more of that. Well, maybe not. This, two of those. And let's use dark oak is the color down there, I do believe. Eh. Okie dokie. Ah. Hmm. This might be a good idea to carry around with me. Let's see how we do. Not that I need a ender pearl. Oop, overshot it. Still, that's okay. All right, so do I want to have... I want... Uh, I think I want the hoppers above each other. So let's let's go out here just a little bit more. And then go up. Uh, let's... Actually, let's let's make this where... Where... Uh, where the redstone signal would come in. So on top of this would be a block. Meaning down here... This is a down here would be the hoppers. No, I don't want the hoppers there. I want the hoppers on this level here. All right, so let's let's do this. I think that's the top slab. Yep, and that's that. Okay, dokie. Yep, I, we're getting there. One, two, three. Ah, uh, and then. It's not actually the two hoppers that we want to have kind of uh, making it happen. It's the redstone line. Oops, I should have put that there. Okay, so we'll do that. And uh, this, <laughs> because up here will be a redstone piece eventually. All right, and then this guy, excellent. And then pretty sure one of these on both sides into a whole block with a piece of redstone dust on it 
Upon which is facing a sticky piston this away. Oh, here's where I want that one. Come here, you. Excellent. And we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, first, we'll take this off. We don't need extra bits. That. Redstone dust. On top of there. Sticky piston. On top of there. Excellent. Excellent. And then a redstone block. We'll put that one there. And we'll put... Oh, I don't know. 32 cobblestone blocks in there. And there you have the Ethos Hopper Clock. We're not going to connect it up yet, but eventually this little redstone dust will fill in and that will power that. I guess I made it one block longer than it needed to be, but whatever. Okay, so every now and again it'll pop like that, and then this guy will fire up and that will cause it to flush. Excellent, so that's that part down. Ooh, I want to clean it up just a little bit. Booyaka. And I guess you don't need that there, but I'm going to leave it for symmetry. And I don't need this anymore because I'm not coming back here except to powder up that dust. All right. The next thing I need to do is get some blue flowers and start pillaring up. So where are the blue flowers? There's some right there. I'm going to go gather some blue flowers and get my glass together and start climbing up. And I'll give you another cutscene when I get to a good stop point. Welcome back, my friends. I'm putting in the last little bit of the blue stained glass I was able to make with the flowers I found. I found a patch over there. I grabbed eight of them. I'm going to need to go get some bone meal to go get some more, but I wanted to show you where I was at. So here I am. Can I fly over there ever so gently? Oh, boy. You say gently, and then that happens. All right, so we're on our way. That was one stack of glass. And that point there is 64, or 63, excuse me. That platform's on 63. So I'm going to take this all the way up. The spawning range is 128 blocks, but I'm going to take this to 185. That gives me uh, 122 blocks. So uh, a six-block kind of differential. Maybe I'll go looking below there to see if there's any caverns below there. It's unlikely, but... Uh, I doubt that that would really impact spawn rates anyways, and again, we're going to light that place up and do some other things. Alright, and once I get to 100, that's where I'm going to put the lid on this bad boy. I don't think I want uh, a top on top of it, but maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll take uh, some dark oak half slabs and half slab the top of that eh, while I still have time here. And then, you know, do it later. <laughs> uh, do the big roof later. I wanted to do... If you go out 15 blocks from the edge of each of these corners and roof it all up, and it doesn't have to be a giant square, it can be like a pyramidal shape, kind of. I guess it would be hexagonal, now that I think about it, or octagonal, now that I really think about it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, octagonal. Uh, but, mm, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I probably will put a little top on it, just because I want to have a little cap on that. I don't want them seeing me from over there and throwing stuff at me, so that's probably what I'll do. But I definitely need to go get some bone meal and make some more flowers, probably right over there in that little patch right there. Uh, I don't want to put together a flower farm yet, so I'll put a hold on that, but I will in the future if you'd like me to. And I'm going to continue building this up at least to the 100 points so I can make a small platform and put another portal in over here. Alright, let me go work on that. Welcome back, my friends. I have taken this water elevator up up, up to the top, past all the clouds, and in fact, I've turned the clouds off because they are a little bit in the way of your view, and I wanted you to see everything around us. If you look back over my shoulder, you'll see the starting hut, and you might, through the fog, see some of the Eight Ravens place. But what we're looking at now is right here in front of us. I've gone all the way up here to what is now floor. Uh, this is level 188. What I did was went into the water, stood on the water, underneath the, uh, stood on the ground in the water, waist high, whatever, head high, uh, underneath the witch hut, and decided that's the bottom. And then went up 128, and that gives us 188. So 188 is where I have established home base for the construction of the witch farm. All the way down there, I've removed the bed and the chest, and I brought a shulker box over if you didn't notice that earlier. And you might see a torch there where uh, the bed and stuff was. 
and you might see a torch over there and a torch over there. Those are just kind of things that were on the very border edge of if I go out 16 from here, and I did because I built it uh, 10 blocks too high. I was just on a roll and was like, oh, da 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 da, started building it and didn't count right. So uh, I had to tear all of this down, come down, and build it back up here. But uh, yeah, I've got torches, and you might be able to see one over there next to that tree that kind of outlined the circle around the bottom that I'm going to have to dig out the dirt, make sure it's water, or uh, get all the way down so and light up from that point outwardly so that things around the outside don't spawn. They shouldn't, but uh, even if they do, they should despawn instantly. <laughs> During construction, there was a whole bunch of uh, creepers down there when I flew down there to uh, go to sleep for the night, so that's why this is here. All right, so now we have this. And there's going to be more. There's going to be more. But I think now is a good time for me to stop. Let me go ahead and give you a flyabout so you can see what it's looking like from a distance, right? So we got that platform up there and a long, long water elevator down to the witch hut, which is no longer a witch hut. It is now a witch spawning area up into this cold, cold biome. Whoa, I, I didn't land. Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think I like the fact that the stone on the inside will make it easy for me to conserve glass. Uh, you see, I'll be able to go up and then come over and then drop it down. And that's what we'll work on next time. We're going to work on the collection system and the platform. And we'll probably get the... We'll probably actually finish the tower at that point. But we'll get the collection system kind of in place and go from there ladies and gentlemen i hope you've liked this and this you have give me a thumbs up and if you really liked it then by all means please do consider subscribing for more content just like this because that's all the time i have for today Whew, it's been a long one <laughs> but i sure do hope you've enjoyed it if you want to check out some of my other stuff then by all means check out the two videos on the left until next time however thank you very much for watching and i will see you again real soon bye bye